literally the coziest, cutest little day here on the coast. I don't have anything crazy planned for today. I just have a lot of work that I need to get done for YouTube. I'm planning out a lot of videos because I have my filming day on Friday. I'm dying for a coffee. I'm going to go to a cafe and work for a couple of hours. One of the things that I didn't think about when I lost all my weight is the fact that I'll literally have to go and get a whole new closet. I don't have any clothes to wear other than my active wear at this point. I'm just a serial outfit repeater. I definitely need to go and get some cute new clothes for the summertime. This video is actually really good timing because I don't like to be in a state of ketosis every single day But this week I actually am I'm gonna take you guys through my day of eating and I'm about to have my little health shot I like to take the Ikari immune support tonic every single morning and sometimes at night depending on how I'm feeling This is not sponsored by the way. I just really like this product sometimes I double up and I'll have like these electrolytes. These are the low carb hydration sugar free electrolytes by Endura. Sports Nutrition. I either have this one or I have the one by Locado that I mentioned in my last video. I really like to make sure that when I'm doing keto, I'm supporting my body the best way I possibly can by making sure that I'm not losing too much hydration and I am replenishing the minerals and vitamins lost when you're losing water retention from doing keto. I also just want to say the response that I had on that first video that I posted about my glow up journey. You guys don't understand how much that affected me like I was at a point where I'd been doing YouTube for about six or seven months and I just kind of wasn't feeling good about it I knew what I was passionate about which is health and well-being psychology mindset but I really felt like no one kind of wanted to see that and when I saw the response on that video you literally have no idea how fulfilled I felt seeing people resonate so much with what I was saying. It's actually re-inspired me and re-motivated me. I've been through this incredible transformation this year. I feel like I'm a completely different human being and I feel like I have things to talk about now. I wish that I had videos like this when I had first started out on my journey. I'm really hoping that I can be kind of a support system for you guys because I know how hard it is to not just start something but stick with it long enough to actually get to where you want to be. If I can do it, someone who is very, very easily self-sabotaging when it comes to my health and well-being, you can do it too. For my tofu scramble, I like it to be curry flavored and that's just like a personal preference of mine but you absolutely do not have to flavor it like that. I'm gonna show you guys the key ingredients in terms of seasoning because obviously when you're doing keto, sometimes the food can be a little bit lackluster because you really don't add condiments like mayo, barbecue sauce, tomato sauce, like nothing like that. Like that's not keto friendly if you're doing it to get into ketosis. So I really like to focus on making sure that my food is seasoned really well. And then I'll usually add like Dijon mustard. So all you're going to need for this is about a third of a block of firm tofu, one to two stems of broccolini. You have about a quarter of a cup of kale, one sixth of a Spanish onion, one clove of chopped garlic. We are gonna fry this up in some coconut oil. That is my oil of choice for pretty much all of my meals. Although I do love a good olive oil on like a salad or something. You can use any coconut oil that you like. I just have the raw sea organic virgin coconut oil here and I typically do about two tablespoons. This is a really good way to get your calories in. It's also obviously super high in healthy fats. So fry that up for about a minute or so. You can also do this with scrambled eggs as well. I like to add my tofu in before I add all my seasoning because I find personally that tofu doesn't really absorb flavor very well. So I usually wait until the very end once it's already pretty much cooked. Once the garlic starts to go a little bit brown, that is when you crumble up the tofu and just pop it in there. Broccolini and the kale take far less time to cook. So we're gonna put that in pretty much toward the end. For the broccolini and the kale, I'm just gonna add in maybe half a teaspoon of this chicken stock powder. For the tofu, I usually add about a teaspoon of coriander seeds because I love coriander seeds. And about half a teaspoon of cumin. Finally, I will add about half a teaspoon of curry powder here, just a Keen's traditional curry powder. Of course, we need avocado because it wouldn't be a keto breakfast without avocado. I like to have maybe a quarter of an avocado per serve, like a quarter to half an avocado depending on like how I feel. And then I'll just add a little bit of Dijon mustard. Dijon mustard has like no carbohydrates, so it's like my favorite way 
to season a meal. The net grams of carbs for this meal is like around five grams of carbs. Could be a little bit of an underestimate. I use my fitness pal and sometimes their calculations are different to when I research on Google. However, it obviously works for me because I still manage to lose almost 11 kilos using the my fitness pal calculation. I do not calorie count at all. On keto, you are literally in fat burning mode. You do not need to stress too much about calories unless of course you're eating lots and lots and lots and lots of oils and nuts and before i eat this actually i am going to also include a couple of brazil nuts one of my favorite snacks for lunch i'm just gonna make a really really simple bowl of seasoned greens i just want a light lunch because i had such a late breakfast usually i would definitely make my lunches a little bit more fancy a little bit more fun but for today i'm not even that hungry but i I know I need to eat. I really need to use up this pak choy. It is looking a little bit sad. I'm just gonna use some extra virgin olive oil, fry it up today. I just used about a tablespoon of that and I also have this like bagel mix that I'm gonna use to season everything with. Like I said, this is a pretty lazy lunch. I'm actually usually really good with making sure my lunches are really filling. I also have this paprika, which I'm gonna just pop in maybe like teaspoon of this and then I am going to use most of this pak choy. We're going to season it with a little bit of garlic powder and also this beef style stock powder. No beef in it. A little bit of the bagel mix. This is definitely not like a typical lunch for me. I do tend to have most of my carbs around lunchtime but because I have breakfast at 11 a.m. I kind of don't need to do that but this bowl is kind of just a combination of things that i was craving i just love pak choy it's really good for you especially when i was going through the initial stages of being in ketosis i just felt like dark leafy greens were a must as soon as i included them in abundance to my diet i really just felt so much better i kind of don't feel like that was enough so i am gonna make another little snack i love making this little cucumber and guacamole plate whenever i just need a little bit of something extra the avocado is obviously really high in fat so it's really satiating <laughs> Future Imogen here. I've lost so much footage, so I'm recording this while I'm sick, but this is one of my go-to meals. It is just a really simple grilled eggplant with cabbage. You can really play around with the veggies here. Have some leftover veggies if you want. There's not really like a specific process to this. I kind of just threw together something that I was craving. I like to keep my dinners really simple, quite low in carbs and really high in healthy fats as per usual. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I want to make heaps of these. I'm hoping to do them weekly, so definitely stay tuned.